Good morning, folks. Big day as we've got two videos for you. Tons of amazing stories coming up here. Dancing plasma filaments around the limb. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star still dominated by coronal holes. We will also have our eyes just left of that Earth scale too, as the bright area may develop into a sunspot group today. But the story now is the solar wind. Intensified due to the coronal holes as seen in the Discover and ACE data up top. Top left purple, top right yellow, that's the solar wind speed and the ramp up into coronal hole stream plasma with geomagnetic conditions taking instability on two separate occasions since yesterday. KP reached the yellow and bottom left, magnetometer curves getting jagged and jumpy, signals the disturbance as well. A tale of extremes next, record fires and record heat in Australia while the United States takes both ends of the other extreme. The snowstorms continue, that's New York City, record cold continues and that'll continue today as the polar vortex refuses to let the jet stream have all the fun. Thanks for that airflow, buddy. We also want to look ahead to the North Atlantic low, driving strong storms into the southern nations of the continent that is going to last a couple days. We're going to go out to the sun first for the science where, quote, new kind of magnetic explosion was discovered, end quote. The quotes are there because it's only newly discovered. It's a common process, they say, and that is indeed obvious if you watch the sun enough. But the quotes are also there for the magnetic reconnection description. We need to recall that the plasma electrodynamic theory does not too differently describe the mechanics than the mainstream. It's just that, in that theory, we're looking at merging currents and current sheets and circuit disruption, rather than frozen in field lines. Folks, the James Webb Space Telescope is going to be phenomenal at many things, and one of those will be discovering the cold brown dwarfs and rogue planets of the galaxy. Basically, a macho hunter that I do believe is going to shock us with the crowding of the local interstellar space. But I am equally excited about Origins. This one is much more immature in the process, but the full 376 page concept report is out. I couldn't hope to show you all the cool stuff in there. Link is below. And so we're off to Chandra where pointing an X-ray telescope in this direction of space turned out to be one heck of an idea, and so they also pointed radio scopes at it, looking for signatures of heat. Now this is where one discovery was made, as the snowman voids and heat signature aren't actually cold, they're just emitting differently as that's where all the mass is. The stars, galaxies even, these are actually two galaxy groups on collision course, and their stellar energy though, does indeed heat the surrounding gas. But basically what we have here is two of these galaxy groups. They are indeed on a heading for a massive collision, which will be extremely violent, they say, due to the clustering of the galaxies in the group, their head-on path, and the fact that this is the first meeting, which is always the most disturbing. Blind date here. I wanted to toss this in as well, found it on Nature this week, and just started shaking my head. If I may. I dare them to bring something like this to the United States. I will literally plead with you on my hands and knees, begging for you to beg your congressman to let me testify in the case, where the half-story media won't be able to half-report their half-truths, or worse. And now let's come to something pretty to look at. This awesome view of the galactic center, the absolute center of which is Sagittarius A, by the way, but right up and down the middle we see a cosmic candy cane the red vertical line again in the middle. We will quickly note that the northern lobe and plasma torus at Sagittarius A are both visible, but getting back to the red vertical stripe at the top, look how it curls to the right, which is actually happening as the filament arches towards the galactic center. It is wrapping around the torus. And folks, this may actually be a streak on one of the larger plasma toroids of the galaxy. It could be a nova remnant caught in the coherent large-scale magnetic fields, or even a density spike on one of those fields, riding the galactic current sheet. There is an interesting paper out on a related matter to that, by the way, looking at the flare dynamics of the galactic center and the plasma torus surrounding it. Large-scale coherent magnetic field structure that indeed includes the galactic current sheet. With the icing on the cake being their recognition that flare dynamics can be highly modulated by even a tiny amount of ionized plasma. Of course, we have been investigating the effects of both that extra dust and gas, and the magnetic and plasma effects, and how both can trigger a nova, both now confirmed, and we find one of the latest nova discovered, 
coming from a heavily dense and heavily magnetized environment. Of course, the implication of all these last few articles here is the implication in Earth's catastrophe cycle and the cosmic disaster movie. The galactic current sheet's existence means the sun will take its hits, and that's a nova or super flare waiting to happen. Let's shift gears quickly and come to Scotland where one of the last great famines of the Little Ice Age is described, including how the global cold period was exacerbated by volcanic eruptions at the time. 15% of the country died, and in that last grand solar minimum, million death famines hit Europe, Russia, and India several times. Lastly on the article front, why I thank you for that glorious introduction. Seemingly puny space weather, inflicting strong geomagnetic storms. This has been a drumbeat of ours since 2015 when we first noticed it. And folks, this is a critical component of tracking Earth's weakening magnetic field. In the second video that's coming up for you this afternoon in the Eastern Time US today, we will leave the flashy animations at the door and dive into the still uncertain but far from untouchable question of when is the magnetic reversal going to happen. Please come back for that video in a few hours, subscribe and click the notification bell as we've got more special videos coming before the end of the year. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.